Welcome to explain card. In this video, we will know about boundary boss space feature. For boundary boss space feature, we create first of all some planes. Reference geometry plane. I select first reference top plane. At 100 mm, I create two more planes. Okay. Now select top plane. Sketch normal. I create here a center rectangle. Right click, select option, come back from the sketch. Now I select this plane. Sketch normal. I create here a circle, right click, select option, come back from the sketch. Now select this plane, sketch, normal. Again I create here a circle, right click, select option, come back from the sketch. Select this plane, hide it, select this plane, also hide. Now go to boundary boss base feature, select this profile, this profile. And this profile from these green dots we can adjust its its path boundary boss base feature is similar to lofted boss base feature but at some differences we can apply normal to profile here it will normal also normal to profile here and normal to profile here in lofted boss base feature we can apply normal to profile at start and end constraints but in boundary boss base feature we can normal to profile at every plane sketch sketches we can also apply normal to profile but in lofted boss base feature we can use normal to profile at start constraint and end constraint only this is the difference between boundary boss and lofted boss base feature here also one difference in boundary boss space feature we can apply direction to for direction to we need to create a sketch just to delete it select front plane sketch normal now i create a spline Right click select option. Now select this and adjust its shape. Come back from the sketch. Now go to boundary boss base feature. Select first profile, second profile, third. Now select direction 2. I select this one. This will follow this path here. Normal to profile is not available in direction 2. So this is the boundary pause base feature. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.